All right, welcome to the Robert Show. I'm here at Fling Forward 2024. Super excited uh, to be with Igor, who's the head of product at Vodvarika. Uh, first of all, welcome to the Robert Show. Really excited to be here. Thanks for having me. And yeah, perfect. It, it is such a pleasure to be here actually at Fling Forward 2024. We saw the keynote, we saw amazing announcements by Vodvarika and obviously the Fling community as well. So kind of excited to chat with you today about various things, uh, Igor. Uh, to start with, would you like quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Vodvarika. Yeah, I'm a head of product in Vodvarika, basically responsible for the whole portfolio. Yep. Yeah, and that's more, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so basically responsible for, I started being responsible for cloud portfolio, now the full portfolio. And yeah. Fantastic. Uh, also, curious question about uh, we've been, you know, obviously the community is talking about BYOC and, you know, the product. Uh, so, kind of curious to learn about what is Vorvarika's BYOC product and how does it cater to modern cloud native architecture? A really good question, actually. <laughs> so, uh, Bring Your Own Cloud is a deployment mode, uh, essentially, not a product per se, because we have unified, s unified streaming data platform as a yeah. product. And this is a deployment mode. The the idea of bring your own cloud was to bridge a gap between self-managed software mm. and basically self-service software with SaaS, right? So it brings both the uh, best of the both worlds in, nice. in this way. So in essence, we wanted to give flexibility mm -hmm. of SaaS, uh, efficiency of running it in your cloud, but uh, combined. So that's basically the combination we were looking at. Fantastic. Uh, it a, and that's something you know. Obviously, I've seen uh, there are more than five hundred people who are attending uh, Fling Forward. They've been talking about it, so it's pretty interesting. People are interested. The community is interested uh, about uh, this. Uh, also, another question, just on this topic itself: uh, How does bring your own cloud differentiate, uh, you know, Vorvarika from competitors in this in the data streaming sp market? Uh, what would you say? Yeah. Um, it's uh, also a good question. So there are vendors, obviously, that offer only fully managed SaaS. Right. And there are vendors also, uh, uh, not so many, that offer only self-managed software. So uh, we brought Bring Your Own Cloud. It's not a novel idea, but how we build it, it's another thing. So uh, at the core of Bring Your Own Cloud, mm -hmm. when we build it, is a zero trust paradigm. So essentially, we were really, really meticulous about security dilemma in this space. So we think that for companies or businesses that really are in this security regulated space, we would be preferred vendor. So that's our competitive market advantage, I'd say. Yeah, no, I think uh, that makes a lot of sense. And the community also kind of gets to uh, have that flexibility as well, right? Uh, so it's always helpful. Uh, Another question about, you know, just, just around the enterprise level, right? Uh, what are the specific benefits for enterprise in bringing their own cloud and how does this impact the scalability and, you know, also the flexibility for users? Can we dive a little deep deeper into it? Yeah, so for the enterprises, it means that uh, from efficiency part, I will start. So they invested a lot in their infrastructure. The enterprises are basi basically a big, uh, big buyers of hyperscale uh, commitments. So Bring Your Own Cloud basically fits in into that investment so they can continue reusing that. Yeah. Uh, from flexibility part, everybody wants kind of self-service, right? Yes. So I in essence, what we bring with our centralized control plane is this kind of this SaaS capability as well. Yeah. So with, like I said, finance or healthcare or these highly regulated businesses, uh, our zero trust model kind of brings the cherry on the top, uh, yes. bring your own cloud model. And because we build it like with lightweight Kubernetes native services, basically can fit anywhere because we are a firm believer in uh, having least privileges uh, to their infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. fantastic insights. Uh, I'm pretty sure, and I see, you know, such huge customers that are already here and even the prospects and those who are using Flink who are actually excited about something like this. I've been, you know, at the expo floor talking to so many leaders out there. So it's, yeah, I'm kind of seeing that. Yeah, I have to add to that uh, yeah. uh, question. Uh, what we actually are really proud of is that we 
develop uh, our Vera uh, cloud native link engine, which yep. is really enterprise and built for the cloud, etc. We plugged it in in the Bring Your Own Cloud as a microservice portable microservice. So basically, Bring Your Own Cloud is fine, but when you you bring a cloud native economics uh, and enterprise features of our Vera engine mm. to the user cloud, this really is is great, it's amazing. So it's Fantastic. really hard to decouple the engine from the cloud and yeah. bring it to to any anybody's cloud. Yeah, like making it easier for the enterprise leaders yeah. out there. I can clearly see that. Um, fantastic uh, points there. Uh, also, curious to learn a little about uh, uh, if you have any example around you know customer or use case that showcases the strengths of BYOC. It's very simple. Uh, um, the use case I would point out here is a finance institution. Mm -hmm. and they're highly regulated. There are regulations a European Union that banks 100%. needs to exactly so they, they need to comply with uh, GDPR uh, obviously so True. bringing the our portable services in their into their cloud they just need to continue on their basically security roadmap mm. so we don't want to we don't want to compromise that yeah strategy. I think that makes a lot of sense in when it comes to you know and obviously regulated industries need to be very careful about few things and y'all are kind of focusing on that and it's uh, right now it's in Europe where we see GDPR but then in the states as well we are seeing you know laws that are being passed to make sure that the data security kind of plays. It's, it's very hard to to build this in the fully managed service. Right. We would rather give like all the investments that they took and the regions that they or the clouds they chosen mm. we bring the the Vera to them and and our basically Apache Flink Enterprise to them. Fantastic. Um, also, want to know how does Vervarka's uh, expertise with Apache Flink enhance the capabilities of BYOC? Yeah, I'll go back to my uh, previous uh, answer yeah. where actually uh, the, the core of our business and the value is in our enterprise Vera uh, cloud native right. uh, Apache Flink engine. So we build a lot of enterprise features on top of that, right? We obviously support the community, but we innovate and then we kind of going uh, a step forward to, to satisfy the enterprises uh, in their requirements in the stream processing world with our Vera engine. So with the Bring Your Own Cloud, like I said, we bring the Vera engine to their cloud. Yep. So essentially they have uh, everything right there. Like we use it in the cloud, they mm. can use it in their own cloud. So. This is where we bring our Apache Flink enterprise and innovation going ahead of the curve, and uh, you can safely run it in, in, in your cloud. That's nice. Uh, also, what do we see in the future? Or what, what developments can the community expect? Uh, what are the newer capabilities that they can uh, get from the BYOC? Yeah, so really good question as well. So uh, the cloud landscape, I would say, is pretty complex now, and we recognize that. That means that you have multi-cloud, you have multiple hyperscale vendors, right. and you have hybrid clouds. So mm -hmm. you have combination of private and public clouds. Uh, in that sense, we are looking into onboarding further hyperscale providers support, uh, next being GCP and then Azure. And then we also want to bring the hybrid cloud experience, which means right. any private data center uh, we can connect uh, uh, through the bring your own cloud, so we want to bring a uh, compatibility mm. to the private data centers as well. And obviously there are <laughs> much things more planned yeah. in the security roadmap, so. That's awesome. I think uh, you all have fantastic plans and looks like great future uh, for uh, obviously those who are uh, us using Flink, but also for the community. So excited yeah. about that, uh, Igor. One last question that I have for you is about uh, if folks want to reach out to you, learn more about what are you building about, follow the content, I which place is best, is LinkedIn, uh, X, where, where do you post? I live <laughs> <laughs> on the LinkedIn. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Yeah, so it's more s like business side, but essentially we are always available and uh, actually we, we want any opportunity or customers to reach out. Uh, we are really keen talking to the prospects. It's not uh, that we do some data analytics or something like that. We really want to meet. Right. So whenever it 
you reach the center and see Neil, we sat on a meeting and we talked about the problems. That's basically. awesome. And I can see it with, you know, the Fling Forward community that has come together uh, in the last three days. Now it's like the third day and tomorrow there's going to be more sessions that are going to happen. Uh, great uh, work that uh, Warwicka has done uh, for the Fling community, right? Yeah. So thanks for that, uh, but also thanks for sharing all the great insights. It's such a pleasure to chat with you on the Ravit Show. Thank you so much, Ravit. Thank really you. Really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.